Hello my dear beautiful masters and welcome to the long dark for the first time in many many months I'm playing this game again in case you didn't know I actually started this channel with this game more or less and I have played it for about 70 hours in total and that was all the very early alpha the, the starting days of the game and it has been updated quite a bit even though the existing areas that I played are still pretty much the same so I still know a fair bit about the game and how to play it and uh, it has challenges and everything and the story is gonna come eventually but we are gonna go into the sandbox and as you can see here I played a little bit just to to you know get back to it I survived two days and five hours relatively easily so we're gonna go into a new sandbox and we're gonna play on stalker I wanted to play on interloper but interloper puts you at the timberwolf mountain and I don't know anything about that map and I just it makes no sense to play that because I'm gonna die like a little bitch. So we're gonna play on a stalker. Your demise waits behind every hilltop, shelter, and tree. Only the strong survive. For veteran players looking for a punishingly challenging survival experience, hostile wildlife is common and will hunt you down. All survival elements are tuned to be particularly challenging and allows for three active feats. I'm probably gonna die within this episode. I'm just just to let you know, I'm probably gonna die within this episode, but uh, I'm gonna start at Mr. Lake, which is uh, the starting, the starting map, and I will, uh, I will believe, I believe, I believe in my own survival, because I have the skills to survive, I have played this game a lot in the past, and I am confident that I will be able to, uh, to push through at least a couple of days. Here we go. We are at the tracks. I think this is the best possible start. Yep, this is the best possible start. Right next to the house. And that is excellent. Because the house... Uh, you, you can basically go over there. Towards the, the the hilltop over... The mountain top over there. See, you have, you have several mountain tops. And you can use the mountain tops to actually navigate across the map and uh, I kind of forget what the name of the things are I know that there is like a warehouse over there on this side there is a house on the on the opposite side and there is a house over here and this house is also close to the lake and the lake has several of these these very nice places okay I gotta go inside because uh, a wolf is nearby so here we go, we're gonna collect all of the items here, especially the lantern, where is the lantern? It has to be here. I am certain that it, ha it has to be here, please. Tomato soup, oh I love tomatoes, tomatoes are lovely. Anything else, file cabinet, please give me something useful, I beg of you. So uh, make sure to let me know uh, how much do you like this game and how how much do you want me to actually play it because I would like to know that storm lantern here it is lovely let's close that accelerant lantern fuel lovely beautiful we are gonna survive this I believe but yeah uh, I definitely want to know how much you guys like this game so make sure to you know comment do the liking stuff and uh, do all that Whetstone, sharpened blades, excellent. That is a new item, I do not remember having it before. Uh, wait, I saw something. I saw something, uh, oh, Stacy's G-Rape Soda. G-Rape Soda, we're gonna take that, thank you very much. And uh, we're gonna collect all of the other stuff and then I'm gonna figure out what exactly to do. Now, my plan is to just survive, just not die. And that is always the plan in this game. Just live and not die. But sometimes that is very difficult because the world just doesn't like you. And also, I believe that this is Survive the Outdoors, that is research, that is also something new in the game that I do not remember having before. I'm gonna take the book as well. Uh, this is actually one of the best survival games that exists in the world right now because uh, it is just designed in a way where survival is... it's all about the survival. Here. 
what have we here? It's all about the survival. And once the story mode comes, I believe it's gonna be the best story ever. And that is one of the reasons why I'm playing it. Because I would like to build some sort of relevance to the game by the time the story mode is out. So when I play the story mode, more of you guys watch and are interested in experiencing the story mode with me. So hopefully that is gonna... That is gonna work out. We can demolish, if you didn't know, you can demolish all of these things. The tables, the crates, the chairs. Can you demolish the cupboard? No, you can't, but you can uh, take the bedroll. I have the bedroll. I th Do I have a bedroll? These are the the stats. Warm, rested, slaked, and full. Uh, for the items, uh, what do we have? We have a decent amount of stuff. Uh, we'll need to create some water. 11 kilos out of 30. That's not a problem. Here we have the dude. The dude with his red arms. So we can place... S s look at this. Just look at the amount of clothes that you can have. Isn't that amazing? Like you can just stack all sorts of clothes on yourself. And that is just so cool. Ragged running shoes. Uh... Worn thermal underwear. Let's wear that again. Double underwear so the balls are safe. You gotta keep an eye on the balls. They have to be safe. Because if you lose the balls, how are you supposed to run? How are you supposed to escape the wolves? How are you supposed to do anything in the game? If your balls are, f are frozen, that just doesn't work. So we have the running shoes and we can harvest the running shoes. It's gonna give us cured leather. And that is something that we're gonna do. We're gonna get the cured leather. It takes a while to get it done, but uh, we also we also have. Uh, I can't open it. But uh, once you are hurt, you can open the interface, and then you can do specific things to to help yourself, which is also very nice. Difficult Simple enemy. parka. Simple parka. That sounds Russian, or maybe I should say Slavic. It sounds slightly Slavic, so we go C to close, and then we can place the inner and outer. So what is the difference between placing inner and outer? There is no difference, so we can place it like this, and it is also gonna be an outer little... I suppose that there is a difference between inner and outer. Like, the fat ones should be outer, and the thin ones should be on the inner, because if the fat ones are on the inner and the thin ones are on the outer, it just, it's not gonna fit properly, right? At least that's what I think. So I think we have everything we need from this area. I think I uh, collected all of the elements. And I could go ahead and create a fire so I can get some water. That is the next step. Pot belly stove. We have everything. New sprint roll, cardboard matches and the book. Chance of success 75%. And we have 12 matches, so we have enough, you know, 75, 75 out of 100%. Eh, come on, come on, fire. It takes a long time, go, Jesus Christ, come on. Start, it started, lovely. And now we can, uh, I can actually survive, uh, throw this, the book inside, I don't want to do that. So add fuel. Add all of the fuel, and we can also cook the food, but I'm first gonna cook the water. Uh, I think I wanna do one liter, I don't wanna do too much. Because if you do too much, then you're not gonna, you're gonna be carrying a lot of water with you. And that is unnecessary. Although I could simply store it over here somewhere. I think I can do that. I can, s uh, okay, let's boil that. I think I can store it over here somewhere. So... That also shouldn't be a problem. A little bit peckish, so I, I guess we could get the dusty pork and beans. But I don't have... I need a can opener. That's the problem. A can opener is necessary. So, we're gonna drink the water. Just so the mouth isn't dry. Because dry mouth, not very nice. Oh, we do have the jerry can here as well, but I have enough... Uh, fuel so it's not a problem so here we go the container so I can place stuff here stuff that I don't need and I suppose we could align it uh, with the weight and we have the bedroll 
Well, I, I don't know what should I place here. Now, if I place these items here, they are not going to get worn out, right? I think that's how it works. Even though I'm not entirely sure. Like I said, I am not too experienced at the game. I haven't played in a long, long time. So we're going we're gonna to just place this and the scrap metal as well. The scrap metal is kind of heavy, so we don't actually need that. Everything else is good. I think I'm going to create more more water over here because we do have uh, plenty of plenty of time left oh oh I didn't oh shit I'm gonna okay I'm not gonna be able to do this melt a little bit come on melt the yeah I didn't I didn't plan this properly but it's okay melted so let's go and place some of it over here. The unsafe water. Transfer all of the unsafe water. There's no need to carry all of that. So it didn't. It didn't melt at least a little bit. Damn it. But that's fine. So let us go outside and uh, carry on with our journey. I kind of really need the, the knife at least. Huh. Leave camp office. Let's see. Please, wolf. Don't murder me. I am a pleasant human being. I am losing daylight. But, uh... That's fine. Yeah, that's not a problem. That is a non-issue. Look how beautiful it is. Quickly, quickly. Oh, wait. Wait, wait, wait. Cat tail. I need this for Tinder. Tinder, Tinder, Tinder. Where are you, where are you, where are you at? Oh, I missed it. Okay, here it is. Cat tail plant, harvest it. Thank you. Just a couple of them, so I, I always have some tinder. It is important to always have tinder, because if you lose it... How are you supposed to create fire? No way to create fire, then. Oh ho! There is a hatchet over here. That is lovely. Thank you very much. And there is nothing else, I believe. Yes, nothing else. Oh, wait a second. Plastic container, of course. There is a plastic container that has, that has peaches. But nothing else. And we have this bastard here. Let's light it up. So we can see better. And look how beautiful that is. Let's run towards this little thing. So where, where are the wolves? Because this place used to have a lot of wolves. I suppose not anymore. The frozen angler. Oh -ho. Instruction manual on ice fishing. Nice, we can learn how to ice fish with that. Although you need to get hooks and shit, and then you need to craft all of that stuff. So it takes a lot of time to actually get a lot of stuff. See, because we can craft stuff over here. So you can craft the fishing tackle. But you need the, the actual hook and some other stuff. So you can't just easily create everything. Is that it? The drawers are empty and we can carry on to the next part. Quickly, quickly! To safety! To safety, my beautiful man! Wait, what is the name of the guy? I don't know if the guy has a name. But we are getting cold and peckish, so I will need to eat food soon. That's, that's the point, you gotta constantly keep moving, gather food, and just uh, never lose track of yourself never lose your mind wait this house is ruined okay because as soon as you lose your mind you're as good as dead i do believe that the game has some sort of psychological aspect so that is definitely something very nice wool scarf thank you but uh, should we create some sort of a backstory to the to the guy and everything i feel like if we create that it's gonna make the game a little bit more interactive in uh, some way M the mystery lake has a lot of these houses and a lot of these living areas so it would be possible to create some sort of a logic with all of these uh, Houses, there's nothing. I feel like there's not enough context and no sign of humans whatsoever. So, I don't know, man. It's kind of difficult to figure out the story for it. Salty crackers in the backpack, nothing else. 
empty all of it empty and useless so uh, since i found a couple of things uh worn wool scarf we're gonna add that and the seven percent wet oh that's bad the driving gloves are weaker so we're not gonna use that these are a little bit wet can i make them uh, can i remove the wetness i suppose i need to just stay here and let them stop being wet <laughs> let them wait how do you say that let them let them uh, uh i don't know the word i lost i lost the word goddamn words the fuel is running low but i have the jerry can back at the main house so it's not a problem okay let's go back i am not gonna be outside in the middle of the night that is a terrible idea so what we're gonna do here is uh, i guess eat and drink a little bit and then go to sleep and then go continue the journey so i have woken up and it is uh, very very dark outside i still haven't lit up my storm lantern we are a little bit hungry a little bit thirsty so i'm gonna go drink the rest of the water i don't know if i'm gonna yeah i still have a little bit of it left but i will need to go back to the house now and we do have the stacy's g-rape soda so it's not a problem I do need a can opener. I really gotta find a can opener because can't can't do this. I can't do it like this. I'm sorry. So we're wearing everything. Everything is going pretty well. These are dry again. Get them dry. That's the word. How am I so stupid? I I do not believe myself. Sometimes sometimes I'm very stupid. I'm sorry, guys. So let's light it up. And let's go outside now i could smash all of these things apart because i do have the hatchet but it's not necessary because i do have reclaimed wood so why would i need more reclaimed wood if i already have some it's absolutely not necessary and the weather is kind of nice it's going towards light rather than darkness isn't it lovely look at the constellation this is the the small bear constellation i think or something like that i don't know i don't know the constellations okay i don't know anything i'm just bullshitting so please please forgive me i'm trying to seem smarter than i am and i'm very sorry about that i should not lie to you guys ever because lying to you is like lying to myself we've got more houses here these are the houses that i remember i knew that there were more of them lake cabins yes and there is a dead guy here. The frozen corpse. Sumit soda. Nothing else. Uh, I think there's more stuff here. But we're not gonna spend time wondering what these things might hold. We're just gonna take all of this. And the backpack. Hello, backpack. Empty. Uh, that's what I thought. You little bastard anything else plastic container empty of course it is empty why would it not be empty the second house however it has a water bottle much water thank you it has condensed milk oh i like milk oh milk is ice i think that i like milk the most out of all drinkable things and of course, if I had a sponsorship from Monster or Red Bull or those guys, I would probably really like th that as well. That'll come in handy. Very heavy fire log. But milk, yeah. Imagine getting a sponsorship from, from a milk company and then you drink milk in videos and promote milk. Seems a little bit odd. But it would fit, definitely. It would fit my theme. At least I think so. I would create some sort of a theme around the milk let's leave the cabin i think there is a third one do i see something over there i see something i see another house one more house here thank you what is hiding here dog food is it food or thank you D is it food or yes it is food do you not like dog food my friend energy bar lovely anything else here no useless absolute uselessness all over the place is that something alive is that is that a wolf 
Over there. That's a wolf. That's a wolf, baby. Let's just slowly back away. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna back away. I'll go back in the house. I don't have a knife, that's the problem. Because if I had a knife, I would be able to easily repel the attack. But since I don't have a knife... Well, I have a hatchet. I suppose a hatchet would do well as well. A little bit peckish. And chilled, so I suppose we could eat something before going uh, to sleep again. Energy bar. Yes. Just a bit of extra energy. Bit of joylent. Haha. <laughs> Sponsored. Uh, bed and sleep four hours until daytime. Let's sleep five hours. Now in this game, uh, sleeping is very good. Because if you sleep, that is the best way to survive longer. By sleeping. Okay, we're gonna visit this little house and then uh, go immediately towards the camp office. Because it's nasty. Camp office. Thank you. Finally back. At the camp office. Oh, my fuel. My poor, poor fuel. Now we're cooking with gas. Thank you. So, wait a second. Now, if I go over here and then go and check on the stormy, stormy baloney actions refuel, fuel supply refuel. Ah. That is so nice! Refueled! And now it's brighter than ever. So let's place the rest of the jerry right here. And we could go ahead and survive the outdoors. I, why did I forget to do that? I should have done that to begin with. Uh, wait, where is it? It should be down here, the jerry can. Here it is. Jerry can can go there. Uh, what about the... Well, I, I, sh I will need to do that. Yes, I will need to do that. So we're going to take the water. Transfer all. Go back. Uh, do I need the, the light? I don't think so. That's not necessary. How are we doing? We are doing pretty well. So let me extinguish this. And we're going to study in the darkness. Can I do that? Can I research in the darkness? Improves fire starting skill by 10 points. Uh, five hours, I think it's too much. It's too dark to read. Ah. <laughs> you bastard. Alright, so... Uh, I suppose I could light it and the fuel is gonna... It's gonna go down, but hopefully it is gonna last enough. Research for three hours. Eh. Back. Close. Storm lantern, pick it up and then... Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, I probably shouldn't have done that. I lost a lot of fuel. For not... Uh, for for a very, very shitty reason. Okay, my bad. My bad, I'm gonna learn, okay? I'm learning. Alright? So I'm just gonna refuel this. Get rid of the jerry can. We have enough. Don't worry about it. Plenty of fuel. It's gonna last for a long, long time. So there should be enough daylight for me to do more, but I'm parched. I need more water. So I actually need to create a fire, which will create more light. And it's just stupid. Okay, it's okay. Let's start the fire. Please start the fire. It's gonna take a while, but hopefully it will start. Beautiful fire. And let's place the fire log. Two hours. Very nice. And then we shall boil all of the water. I think that I'm gonna make this place like the main base. I suppose you can call it a main base. That's what I would like to do. So pot belly stove still 53 minutes. Uh, what am I gonna do with the pot belly stove? I kinda probably should. The radio is useless. Doesn't work. It's probably it probably serves some sort of purpose in story mode. We're gonna be able to, you know, add some sort of power to the entire place, and then use the radio to call for help or something. And we also have a workbench. I don't know if. Uh, any of you guys know about this, but the workbench has all of these various, well, blueprints. And you can craft all sorts of things here. See, I need the sewing kit to create the rabbit skins, mitts, deer skin boots, wolf skin, bear skin, survival bow. All sorts of very, very cool things. 
So since we have 43 minutes left, I could go ahead and create some more. Well, I could get the food, but you know, if I smash open the can, it's gonna waste a lot of the food. And I feel like it's not necessary to do that. We have the scrap metal in case the storm lantern needs a repairment. And what else do we need? We are kind of hungry. Kind of hungry and the food is not very pleasant. I can use the hatchet. Oh, I could have used the hatchet to open. Shit, I already... God damn it, I messed up. Okay, it doesn't matter. It's okay. Don't worry about it, my friend. I know what I'm doing. Okay, I don't know what I'm doing, but uh, it's gonna be fine because it's it's I'm still hung I'm just hungry, you know, it's not that big of a deal. Just a little bit of hungriness. And maybe what is this? Magnifying I lens. I can use this. Oh ho! Huh. Can be used to start a fire. That is very cool. Thank you very much. But I'm actually gonna pause it right here. We are going to continue our journey towards the the warehouse on the other side of the map, following the train tracks. That is where we shall encounter more things, and that is where we shall uh, possibly, probably die. But I, I, I think I'm doing pretty well so far. I did make some mistakes, I lost a lot of fuel, and I kind of wasted some of my uh, tinder over here, but it's okay, it's okay. I think I'm doing pretty well. Please do let me know how do you like this series, do you do you like, you know, the, the game? Do you want to see more? Just comment below, do the liking stuff and do all of that stuff. Thank you very much for watching, I hope you have enjoyed the long dark, and uh, I will see you next time. I have been Petar, dear glorious lord, and may the blessings of Petar the eternally touch your butt.